I'm Addison, and I recently bought an old vintage van. This van requires a lot of work and patience. My goal is to have it done by September so I can hit the road and enjoy myself. This can't be happening. But will problems and time get the best of me? Let's find out. morning guys my first night ever sleeping in the van and I can honestly say it was great I slept like a baby um and I'm really happy about that because I was worried I'd be like oh my gosh what if I can't get to sleep what if it's so hard and I feel claustrophobic but nope slept like a baby so for today's project we are going to be putting away the bed we are going to be spraying the fabric walls white if it works. Exciting news, we got some accessories for the van, we got new seat covers, we got new kitchen supplies, and we also have wallpaper we will be putting on the bathroom. I already have a headache thinking about it, don't worry. I'm gonna go ahead and put away my bed and we're gonna get started. Let's go. By the way, shout out to my parents for their awesome quilt. I slept amazingly last night. By the way, here is the wooden vinyl flooring we're going to be putting down. I think it's gonna look great with the white cabinets instead of what is in here. That back there, we're gonna be spraying this color. And I have read tons of reviews where people use these in their RVs, so I think it'll work, but we're gonna spray a very light layer to see. To say I'm nervous about this stuff not working is an understatement. Honestly, I am so freaked out that we're gonna spray it on there and then it's just gonna like peel off and leave it looking terrible. We're gonna spray it right in there the first time to see if it actually looks reasonable. It looks absolutely horrific. Oh my gosh, guys, it looks so bad. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna try. We're gonna try it again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a a third layer after the second layer dries. And if that does not look good, then we know that that's just not for us. I can honestly say I'm dying right now. Like this is terrible. <laughs> we went from this blue. To this. Just bought these scissors. Not perfect, but I'm glad the way it turned out. Have our new mat in there. Okay, so we have these adorable mini mixtures, which are like made out of bamboo and silicone. And then we have these olive wood spoons, which I think are so cute. And I'll show you guys. We have these adorable bowls. I'm gonna put them with. You guys can see I did a little bit of this, but I might redo that. We have a temperature checker for when I cook, a drain pad can opener, this beautiful, beautiful mug. I saw this and I just had to get it. You guys can see just the texture of it, it's so neat. It's nice and yellow. We got some scissors I've already opened and been using, some measuring cups for when I cook, a drain, because I know I'll be draining some stuff. We got reusable ice cubes because we cannot make ice cubes in my freezer, so we're gonna be doing reusable ones. 
And I also got some clamps to shut all of my bags with and a scooper for pineapple ice cream. So let's go ahead and start installing the accessories in the cabinet. Also got these adorable bamboo containers. I got this one too. Two of the same, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep those in there because right now I'm not using the fridge, so might as well use it for storage. Okay, guys. So here is the original seats, and we are about to put the seat covers on these babies. They're not bad. Good morning guys, today is a big day because we're actually taking the van to get inspected today and it is the first time ever getting inspected so it passed North Carolina's inspection when we bought it which was a few months ago so now we're gonna have to see if it passes Virginia inspection and if it does I'm gonna try to take a little trip with it. It looks like it's gonna be good to go but we will see. We got some new backlights because this one's broken and will not pass inspection. Ethan is about to come out and help me. So we got the broken one off, and then here's the new one. Such a difference, guys. Look how shiny and pretty that is. Now, we're gonna keep the extra one for me on the road in case something happens, because this one is still in great shape. There's nothing wrong with this one, so. Yeah, we fixed that. You can see the previous owners just fixed it with some red tape, but we were lucky enough to go on eBay and find some. Hey, Tina. If you go in there, it's gonna be really hot. She's like, going in. You like it, team? You get on out, you're so cute. If I could travel with a cat, guys, I totally would. But I think I'm gonna try to get a dog to travel with, just because I don't wanna be lonely always. Um, it's 100 degrees, you can't be in there. The inspection place has an hour long wait. So what me and Ethan are gonna do is adventure out, right? Yeah. Take the van up the mountains and see the view. It's so pretty. Just a gorgeous day. Couldn't ask for a prettier day. The only issue is the heat is really killing us. Looking fresh, looking good. We got some backlights for it. Uh, the backlights would not work. Crazy part is, is that last week we checked on the lights and everything looked great and today right before we went to the inspection, the lights didn't work in the back. So we had to go get a backup light. When I saw the light was out this morning, I was like, this can't be happening. But after we got it fixed, I was like, you know what, everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna get this done. So, got it fixed, no problem. So the van is parked while we're waiting for inspection. So me and Ethan are gonna go over there and see the falls and then, yeah, just check her out. We're kind of bored just hanging out. Had some ice cream at uh, Arby's, so that's a plus. So gorgeous. Ethan has only seen this place like two times. So he's just taking in the moment. State inspection, $20. Past inspection, so it's officially safe to go on the road. And very excited. 
Yay. Hey guys, so we're back from the inspection and I've decided that I have a little time on my hands so we're gonna go ahead and put this backslash on the back of the kitchen but we will see if it actually works. But yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Cause right now it's just this ugly like wallpaper. Uh, weekend so because the weekend is approaching I'm gonna be working all weekend so it kind of sucks but I've had two days off in a row so I'm feeling pretty good I'm gonna take a sandwich bag and save um, these little tiling pieces that I did not use because just in case I'll need them you know to cover some areas but we gotta clean up this mess like <laughs> it is an absolute disgrace in here like you can see and once we get this all cleaned up I'm gonna tape this all off and then we're gonna spray this silver voila guys that looks so much better all I gotta do is throw my tools somewhere and we'll be good okay I got it all ready for the Metallic finish rust aluminum. I've done this on all the other plugins, so all I've got to do is this one. It looks kind of spotty. That's just the lighting, so you guys can see it's it's completely covered. pumped it makes the place a little more open feeling you guys can see from here it does make it look bigger in here probably gonna put a couple more of those safety hooks on it just in case but other than that I think we're good now we are going to do the microwave I'm going to try to do like a stainless steel look to the microwave Vaseline you can put on the buttons and stuff and it won't stick the paint well so we're gonna put Vaseline on the buttons and then something over this to protect it look I'm already getting stuff on the microwave update the Vaseline did not work so we are going this we are painstakingly cutting out each piece of tape and putting it on these numbers it has been such a pain in the butt almost done and then I'm gonna take a popsicle break because it is a hundred and five degrees out here guys I know I look terrible but this popsicle tastes so good right now watermelon popsicles outshine are the best just got done taping up that freaking microwave oh my gosh that microwave was such a hassle to tape it up the vaseline was drying because it's so hot out here here is the microwave I'm gonna get this sucker sprayed yes this is not sponsored by walmart but i did walmart pickup my mom did and she gives me all the good stuff thanks mom looks really good gotta clean up some I'm right now working on taking each one of these little numbers off job with that I've got to trim some of the current corners up here once it dries a little more wash up there looks really good hey guys so we're here at one of the local state parks I live near and we are going to dump the tanks today so let's go dump it. so this is gonna be the instructions I take to dump my dirty water tank last time I could not dump the tank because I did not know how to Okay, I'm like a single female, and I was used to seeing the latch right there, but the latch was not there. So what I did last time was I unscrewed this, 
pulled that bad boy out. Looks secure. Now we're gonna walk over here. Um, this is where you pull it at, right under here. We are getting down on the ground for this one. You guys can hear it running. I'm so happy that worked. Like, you guys have no idea. I've been working so hard to try to get this thing dumped. I feel so stupid. <laughs> there has to be a fresh water dump. You know what I mean? Like, not a dump. Uh, a fresh water lever to let all the fresh water out of my van. Down here and look again. Yeah, there's like a, a second lever. It was this one. So this one was the solids. And this one was the liquid. Someone could just come here and kill me. Literally. We look at our little controller that it's empty for the gray water, which is awesome. So yeah, now that we got that done, I'm really happy. Next time I'll wear gloves. Um, I probably did that really wrong, so you guys can comment down below if I did that completely wrong. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys can see the place is really starting to turn out. We got the tiling. We've got the bed. I just love it. It's all starting to turn out and I'm getting so excited about it. We've only got one more episode until we are on the road. So stay tuned. I will see you all in next week's video. Bye.